In the Bible, we read of Christ's visit to the home of Simon the Pharisee. Outwardly, Simon seemed to be a good and upright man. He regularly checked off his to-do list of religious obligations. He kept the law, paid his tithing, observed the Sabbath, prayed daily, and went to the synagogue. But while Jesus was with Simon, a woman approached, washed the Savior's feet with her tears. Simon was not pleased with this display of worship, for he knew that this woman was a sinner. Perceiving his thoughts, Jesus turned to Simon and asked a question. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. One owed 500 pence, the other 50. And when they both had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered that it was the one who was forgiven the most. Then Jesus taught a profound lesson. Seest thou this woman? Her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loveth much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. Which of these two people are we most like? Are we like Simon? Are we confident and comfortable in our good deeds, trusting in our own righteousness? Are we perhaps a little impatient with those who are not living to up to our standards? Are we on autopilot, going through the motions, yawning through gospel doctrine class, and perhaps checking our cell phones during segment service? Or are we like this woman, who thought she was completely and hopelessly lost because of sin? Do we love much? Do we understand our indebtedness to Heavenly Father and plead with all our souls for the grace of God? When we kneel to pray, is it to replay the greatest hits of our own righteousness? Or is it to confess our faults, plead for God's mercy, and shed tears of gratitude for the amazing plan of redemption? Salvation cannot be bought with the currency of obedience. It is purchased by the blood of the Son of God. If grace is a gift of God, why then is obedience to God's commandments so important? Why bother with God's commandments, or repentance for that matter? Why not just admit we're sinful and let God save us? Or to put the question in Paul's words, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Paul's answer is simple and clear. God forbid. Brothers and sisters, we obey the commandments of God out of love for Him. As we walk the path of discipleship, it refines us, it improves us, it helps us to become more like Him, and it leads us back to His presence. Grace is a gift of God, and our desire to be obedient to each of God's commandments is the reaching out of our mortal hands to receive this sacred gift from our Heavenly Father. Today and forevermore, God's grace is available to all whose hearts are broken and whose spirits are contrite. Jesus Christ has cleared the way for us to ascend to heights incomprehensible to mortal minds. I pray that we will show our love for God and our gratitude for the gift of God's infinite grace by keeping His commandments and joyfully walking in a newness of life.